and as Tony Ponticello pointed out, there are a couple of slight typos in the program. So I want you all to take out your program and go to Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And it says 9 p.m. That actually, as Tony said, is 9 a.m. But there's also been a slight typo in the title. So the title says Your Natural Ability to Heal. The actual title is Your Life Changing Natural Ability. I'm sorry, I've even got the title on. Okay, let me start again. <coughs> The life-changing healing power of fuck it. <laughs> the life-changing healing power of fuck it. And I'm so excited that I got 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. We didn't have a chance to pick our times. But it feels like a church service, right? Now, this is going to be anything but church. <laughs> and I went through uh, a series of healing difficulties. I was sick for a very long time, for a period of almost six years, starting in 2013. And I have been with A Course in Miracles since 1992, so I know what it says. I know on an intellectual level what it says. And I know it says that at no single instant does the body exist at all. And I also know that it says that the body is in no need of healing, that all healing is in the mind. But when you're sick, that all goes out the window, right? And so I have been dedicated to the topic of healing for even before then, and I was asking Jesus to really show me how is healing accomplished, like really. Like I think about these, these scientists and individuals throughout time who have tapped into laws that were always existing, the laws of electricity, the laws of aerodynamics, um, just all the things. Like once upon a time, we were sitting in candlelight and we were riding on horses. We didn't know about the automobile. We didn't know about electricity. And it took individuals who knew that these laws were already operating, but they had to really dedicate their mind and their life to figuring it out. How does it really work? You know, I love the Wright brothers that they got a plane off the ground. And the first time they got that plane off the ground, it was only for a few seconds, but that it was accomplished in that few seconds. So for anyone who's ever <clears throat> had an experience of the peace of paths of all understanding, that was you getting that plane off the ground for a few seconds. So that plane flying is right there, right now, available to all of you. And so what I did was I tried healing the body. I spent over $20,000 trying to heal the body, even though I knew that's not it. Like I just wanted those symptoms to go away. I was going blind, I couldn't talk, I was vomiting, I mean, I was in pain. There was so much that was going on and I really could see, okay, I'm limiting the symptoms a little, but it's not making it go away. So then I was dedicated to healing the mind to heal the body. So the ego is very sneaky, right? So I'm like, all right, I'm not healing the body. I'm not gonna try to do it on that level, but I was. And what happened for me, my turnaround was about a year ago. The symptoms were at an all time worse. They just were so bad. And my husband, Bill Free, who many of you know, <clears throat> was at a Rupert Spira conference in California. And I, called him on the phone, and I was like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And he said, Lisa, can you just welcome everything that's happened? What if they never go away? That was my turning point, and that was, fuck it. I said, fuck it, I'm the light of the world. I don't care if I go blind. I don't care if I can't talk, fuck it. Fuck it, I am a child of God, and the joy that I am is not to join me in this space because this is why
why healing doesn't take any time, and this is why there is no order of difficulty in miracles. And on that day, I chose life. I said, I am here only for the salvation of the world. I don't care what this body does. This body is not what I am. And Jesus is right. calling us, his healers and his miracle workers, to step in and say yes, yes to life, yes to love, yes to joy, and to begin extending it. This is the, this, if you look at the Course of Miracles, it's, it's like you can take as long as you want to go through the transformation, or you can choose today to make this shift. Tony, in our presenter meeting, said that his goal, intention of this conference was to turn up the notch on healing. What was it exactly? Just tur kick, it up, kick it up a notch. That's what he said. He says, let's, this conference, he, talk, he talked to all of us, the presenters, and said, let's kick it up a notch in this community. So are you guys all with me with this? Yeah. Now, if anybody who is ready to go all the way in this lifetime, that you say, fuck it, I want to be the light that I am. And what we're going to do tomorrow, I'm going to pass out some cards. I'm going to have you make a decision and write down your new approach. I'm going to tell a quick story from 1965 where Helen Shuckman and Bill Thetford decided on a new approach that day that they were going to show up differently in life. They didn't wait for life to change. They were going to be the change they were waiting for. We're gonna do that, you're gonna walk away with that, and you're gonna also look at where you're hiding. Where are you saying yes when you wanna say no? Where are you compromising? Like, where are you just trying to control your experience to limit the effects? So, I'm so grateful you're all here, and I love you, thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.